afternoon everybody. My name is Abby. Welcome. Final time saying welcome for our Imperial Lates Online, our virtual exploration of science at Imperial College London. As this is our final Lates event before the summer break, the team wanted to round off this final week of events celebrating the wonders of the animal kingdom with something a little bit different. So the class I've created today has been inspired by conversations with a number of imperial scientists studying insect movement and behaviour. These include honeybees, dragonflies and stick insects. So during the class I'm going to demonstrate and flow with you um, but please take the movement as far as you want to take it. So please listen to your body, modify where you need to and stay nice and safe. We won't need any props or anything today, um, just make sure you're wearing something comfy and you have enough space to move around. Um, so I'm also going to discuss how the movements and positions that we explore during the class were inspired by what I learned from conversations with our insect experts, Danny, Maria and Sam. Um, the first insect that we're going to explore, so I've broken the class up into sections of our three lots of insects, and the first insect that we're going to explore is the honeybee. And honeybees have an incredible way of communicating with the rest of their group. When bees discover food during one of its exploratory flights, it won't collect it right away. Instead, it will return to the hive and then report back. So to do this, they do something called a waggle dance. And this then explains to the other honeybees where that original source of food is. And the waggle dance is where they come into a section of the hive with all the other bees um, crowded around and perform a pattern of movement. They travel in a figure eight pattern. And you can see on the video here how they're, they're moving around in this figure eight. And their first central movement Will, take, will be a certain degree from the sun. And this is to show the direction in which the source is. And as they do this, they perform this sort of vibration, this waggle with their body. And the duration of that is to show how far away the source is. So they then loop it back round, perform it again, and this creates our figure eight movement. So we're gonna get nice and warmed up now, get into our bodies and you can see here actually on the on the slide, you can see that um, degree away from the sun and then um, the vibration and the duration of that vibration as well. So yeah, we're gonna get into our bodies and get nice and warm and explore that figure eight movement um, and get moving. So we're gonna start seated. Just nice and comfortably, we can sit cross-legged, maybe up onto a cushion, or you can start kneeling as well, whichever is the most comfortable for you. We're sitting nice and tall up onto the sit bones, resting our hands down onto our knees, close down the eyes, and just begin to settle down. Taking a few deep breaths. Becoming aware of each inhale and exhale. We're going to come all together and take a nice big inhale through the nose. And out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And again, last one, all the way in, filling up the lungs, and out. Good, lovely, really nice. Gently blink open the eyes when you're ready. And bringing our hands towards heart centre, palms together. On our next inhale, interlace the fingers, lift the elbows, frame the face. Exhale, we're going to push the palms forward, rounding in the back, scooping out the tummy, tilting back in the pelvis. We inhale, lift and lengthen, push the ceiling away, nice long sides of the body. Exhale, release the hands, interlace them behind you, roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the gaze, open the chest. 
exhale, releasing back to center. Lovely, taking that pattern once more. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, curve and round, push palms forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, push the ceiling away. Exhale, release the hands, interlace behind, roll shoulders back, inhale, lift and open the chest. Exhale, release. Lovely, really nice. We're going to lift one arm up, scooping it up and over, creating the first part of our figure eight. And then we're going to go diagonally across, across, reaching it down. And then scooping it over to the other side, up and over. Nice long stretch, feeling the opposite hip sink down, weaving it through the front, rock side to side to scoop up and over. Lovely. And through the center, rock and rock up and over, and creating that nice wavy spine with our figure eight movement, taking it in your own time, your own breath, or you can follow along with me. Lovely, really nice, reaching up and over, feeling that lovely long stretch, having a little pause there before we come into our rock, and rock, up and over. Lovely. Good, let's do one more each side. Gorgeous, rock, rock, last one, up and over and back to the center. Lovely, really nice. We're gonna find our way into a tabletop position, stacking our shoulders above our wrists, our hips above our knees, creating that nice long um, connection from the top of the head down the base of the spine to the base of the pelvis. Good, and just take a few little circles around the wrists, coming into the hips. Good. And then back to the center. Lovely. We're going to plant down our left hand. Inhale, lift and open right all the way up to the sky, opening the chest. As we exhale, we're threading underneath the left arm, bring our shoulder down. Good. Inhale, lift and open everything up. Exhale, thread through. Good. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, thread through, allowing the shoulder and the ear to come down to the mat, settling into our twist, hips are high, breathing into our twist. Lovely. And then when we're ready, untwisting, unraveling, inhaling, reaching, right arm all the way up, lengthen, exhale, bring it back down, taking that onto the other side, inhale, lift and open, left arm up to the sky, opening the chest, exhale, thread underneath, inhale, lift and open, exhale, thread through, Good, and again, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, thread through, allow the shoulder and the ear to come down to the mat, settling into our twist. Breathing. Good. And then planting the right hand down, Inhaling, unraveling, lifting left arm up and exhale, bringing it back down. Lovely stuff. Okay, keep pushing that floor away, engaging in our centers and staying strong in our shoulders. We're extending our right leg out behind us and just rocking through the foot, waking up the back of the leg and the calf, massaging out the foot, working through all those little muscles in the foot. Good. And then we're going to cross that foot over towards the left corner of the mat and looking back towards the foot, creating a nice curve in the body. 
good we have the option to stay here or if we want to we can reach our right arm off as well increasing that lovely curve good lovely bringing it back back to our tabletop before extending left foot out rocking through the foot all those little muscles you can pause in the stretch if you want to if the stretch feels nice we want to pause good and then crossing the foot over towards the right corner of the mat taking our gaze back towards the foot creating that nice c shape in the body lovely and either staying here or lifting the left arm off increasing that curve good and bringing it back back to our tabletop good we're going to get our spine moving a little bit we're going to inhale push the floor away curve and round in the back taking the gaze down towards the knees pushing the floor away doming in the back on our next exhale, we release, lifting the gaze, arching in the spine. Inhale, curve and round. Exhale, release. Good. And again, curve and round. And exhale, release. Lovely. We can take a few circles of the spine, doing any little wriggles that feels good. Wiggling out our morning, getting ready for the afternoon. Good. And then when you're ready, we're going to tuck our toes, lift our hips, push back and find downward facing dog. We can have a nice generous bend into the knees, pedaling through the feet. If we feel like we're rounding in our back, just soften the knees a little bit more. We'd rather have a long spine and bent knees rather than straight legs and rounded back. We really want to be thinking about our spine. So pedaling through those feet. Good, and then keep that walking motion going. Walking the feet towards the hands. Keep hanging out over the legs. Feet are hip width apart, soften in the knees and just let the body relax down over the legs, allowing gravity to take our upper body. Maybe taking opposite elbows, having a little swing from side to side. Good, and then release the hands, soften in the knees, round in the back, and begin to roll all the way up to stand. Lovely stuff. Let's roll those shoulders up and back, palms facing forward. We're going to bring our toe joints together, our heels are slightly apart, standing nice and tall. Good. Okay, let's inhale, lift and lengthen, bringing the arms above us, bringing our focus towards our hands. As we exhale, we hinge and fold forward, having a little bend in the knees if we wish. Inhale, halfway lift, opening up the chest. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back, find a nice high plank or modified plank with the knees down. Completely up to you which one you would rather do. Just finding that strength in the body, that 360 core around our centers. Good, well done. Hug the elbows in, lower down with control all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Good, exhale, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Lovely. Take a breath. Good. And on your next exhale, you're going to make your way towards the top of your mat once more, folding forward. To inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, reaching high with those arms, lengthen, 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 reaching up towards the sun, and then exhale, hinge and fold. Bending in the knees as much as you need. Let's inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back with the left foot this time, coming into a nice low lunge. Good, have maybe a couple of little rocks here just to settle in. And then when you're ready, lowering down that back knee, nice strong foundations, inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms, maybe bringing palms together, maybe taking the gaze towards the thumbs. Lovely, on our next exhale, frame the front foot, step back, find high plank or modified plank, and then lower all the way down to the mat, untuck toes, roll shoulders back, inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, push back, downward facing dog. Lovely stuff. Good. And on your next exhale, we're shifting the weight forward, bring the left foot in between the hands, finding our low lunge on the other side. The left leg forward now. And again, have a couple of little rocks. Not forcing anything. When you're ready, lowering down the back knee. Strong foundations. Inhale, lift up the chest, lift the arms, bring palms together. And then maybe lift the gaze towards the thumbs. Lovely. Exhale, bring the hands down, shifting right foot to meet left, standing at the top of the mat, folding down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and fold, well done. Inhale, rolling all the way up, breathing all the way in, reaching, feeling that nice two-way pull, reaching high. Exhale, hinge and fold, last one. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, find a nice high plank or modified plank. And then when you're ready, on your next exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck toes, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, push back, downward facing dog. Lovely stuff, well done. Good. And let's lower down the knees, bring the hips towards the heels and settle down into your child's pose. Take a breath here. Good, well done. Hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmer. We can feel all nice and find that figure of eight going through the body with our breath. Lovely stuff. Okay, so also throughout the class, you can comment in the class, let me know how you're getting on. Um, but we'll just um, take a breather for a second. Okay, so we're now gonna turn our attention to dragonflies. And dragonflies are really unique in the fact that they can move their head independently from their body. So they're able to see something and then they lead with their head and then their body follows that. So they kind of, that we've got a little video here that you might be able to see. They have this really kind of, um, yeah, amazing way of following through with their body after their head spots something. And they're really quick. So they have amazing reactions. Yeah, just like that, it goes off. <laughs> yeah, so they have incredible reactions. They, as humans, we see about 60 images per second, whereas dragonflies will see up to 200, which is pretty amazing. They've got amazing um, reactions to things. They can pick things up so, so quickly. And the other thing that dragonflies do is that if they um, find themselves upside down in the air for whatever reason, rather than flipping horizontally, they have an amazing way of going head over tail. So they'll do a kind of somersault in the air to get the right way back up again. Um, and as they do this, we can see they create this really beautiful V shape with their wings. It's a really lovely kind of 
flipping action that they have and they have this amazing V shape with their wings. So we're gonna try and um, embody that. I'm not gonna get us flipping around upside down, don't panic. <laughs> but um, we're gonna have a go at finding our balance and our focus and um, finding that nice lovely expanse with our arms and finding that lovely V shape as well. Okay, so when we're ready, coming up from our um, child's pose, tucking our toes, pushing back, finding downward facing dog, and just walking the feet towards the hands and gently softening in the knees, rolling up all the way up to stands. Lovely stuff, okay. Let's bring our hands to heart center and we're gonna transfer the weight into our right foot and just have a little play with finding that balance. And the best way of helping us with our balance is finding that strong focus point. So we're looking sort of diagonally towards the front of our mat or beyond our mat. So we're not looking right down. We're not thinking, we imagine how heavy our head is. If we look right down, that's gonna throw us off. We wanna think that it's just our eye line. It's just finding sort of top of the skirting board height, finding that balance. And then we shift to the other side into the left foot. Good, and then again, one and then the other, having a little play, lovely. If you find your balance is better, if your hands are on your hips, we can pop our hands to the hips, or maybe heart centre. Good, lovely, well done. Okay, so all together, drawing hands again, either heart centre or to hips, however we find our balance is best, transferring our weight into the right foot, lifting the left toes off. Our torso is gonna to come forward as our leg goes back, and we're finding warrior three. So we can find a nice diagonal line, hips and shoulders are nice and square and in line, back leg is strong and engaged, and we're not coming into our T shape, we're just coming into our diagonal line here. Nice, strong focus. Lovely. We're then going to open up the left hip, opening up the arms, coming into a sort of flying triangle, flying through the sky with our wonderful focus down towards the ground. Lovely. We're going to soften in that right leg. We're going to step back nice and gracefully into our warrior two. Lovely. So we've got the external rotation from the hips, strong arms, strong sides of the body, right knee is bent, tracking over the right toes, left leg is long and straight with the arch of the left foot slightly lifted. Focus over that front arm. Well done. Taking a breath. Good, okay, we're gonna flip the front palm, straighten the front leg, Inhale, reverse triangle, reaching up with the top hand and down with the low hand. Good. On our next exhale, we're going to bend in the right leg, bring the forearm down to the thigh, up and over with that top arm, finding side angle. Lovely. We're going to breathe our way through these two positions. As we inhale, we lift up. As we exhale, we soften down. Lovely, inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, soften down. Lovely, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Lovely. Okay, let's find our reverse triangle once more. Inhaling, lifting. This time, our low arm, our left arm is wrapping behind us. And we're wrapping it round so that our palm is facing away. Good. So we're reaching, reaching high. Find that long line. And then exhale, bending in the right leg, finding our side angle once more. But this time, that free hand is finding our thigh. Almost like a little insect is coming over. Good. Forearm down. Looking over that left shoulder if we can. Peeling open the shoulder. Lovely, checking that that right knee is still tracking over the foot. Lovely stuff, well done. Keep breathing. Good. 
and then unwrapping the arms, straightening the front leg, and we're going to turn the toes in. So the toes are slightly pigeon toed. Good, and we're going to find that lovely V shape, reaching high. And then we're going to bring the arms up and we're going to roll all the way down, diving forward. And we're going to take our hands as if they're going through our legs, diving down. And then we roll all the way up, opening back up into our V shape. And again, ripple through the spine, rolling down. Good. And rolling all the way back up again. Fabulous. And again, rolling down. And rolling back up again. Good. Last one. All the way down. And all the way back up again. Lovely stuff. We're going to pivot towards the front of the mat, finding our high lunge once more. Good. From here, we're nice and strong and square with our hips, strong lower body, grounding down. Our upper body is nice and tall, lengthening in the spine. We inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to rotate towards our front leg, twisting in the body, opening up the arms. Reaching forward and back, finding that two-way pull. Lovely. Good. And if we can stay here or if we want to, we can lift that left arm, reversing. Little twisty little back bend here. Good. And then bringing it back nice and gently, squaring everything off. Good. Bring your hands down towards heart center. We're going to take little baby steps in with that back foot. We're going to find our warrior three again. We're finding our flight. Grounding down, lifting that back foot, finding that connection from top of the head down to the bottom of the toes. Good. We're going to open up our arms and we're going to fly through the air. As we inhale, we're going to bend the knees, bring the arms in, gather everything in. As we exhale, we're going to push the floor away and fly through the air. Good, inhale, gather everything in, keep that strong focus. Exhale, push away. Good, inhale, gather. Exhale, push away. Good, last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, then like a pendulum, swing that left leg through, bring knee to chest. And exhale, release down. Fabulous. Give the feet a little bit of a pedal out, a little bit of a wiggle and a shake. Good. Really nice. We're going to try all of that on the other side. So when you're ready, staying at the top of your mat for me. Good. Hands to heart centre. Transferring the weight into the left foot. Finding that balance. Take a moment to find that balance. And then drawing the torso forward, leg goes back, finding our diagonal warrior three. Good. And then we're opening out, so like a door, opening and stacking our hips, opening out into our flying triangle. Keep that nice strong focus. Softening in the left leg, step back. Nice and gracefully into our warrior two on the left side. So left leg is bent, right leg is long. Good, nice strong sides of the body, focus over that front hand. Good, well done, keep breathing. Good, let's flip the front palm, straighten the front leg, inhale, lifting up. Looking up towards that top hand. Lovely. And then exhale, softening in that left leg, come up and over the right arm, finding our side angle. Here, when we're in our side angle, we're lifted up out of that left side of the body, the underneath side of the body. So we're not slouching down onto that shoulder, we're lifted and engaged. Good. Flowing between those two. 
Inhale, push floor away, lifting up. Exhale, soften and bend. Good. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, soften and bend. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Last one. Inhaling all the way up. Wrapping that underneath arm around behind you, palm is facing away, ready to take hold of that thigh as we exhale, soften in the knee, bringing the elbow down towards, or the forearm down towards the thigh, sorry, and then maybe taking hold of that opposite thigh. Opening up the right shoulder, taking the gaze over the shoulder towards the ceiling. Good. Keep checking that left knee is still tracking over the toes. Breathing. Well done. Good. Unraveling, unwrapping, come through warrior two, straighten off the front leg, turn the toes slightly in. Good, okay. So we have the option to either do our Vs and rolling down and rolling back up again. If we like that option, we want to stay with that option, we can. Or we can have a little go at becoming inverted. So like our dragonfly is going upside down, we can have a little play at doing that. So we're rolling down, bringing our fingertips down towards the floor. And the entire time, our core is slightly engaged. So they're lifting from that lower core. Good, and we can have a little bend into the knees if we wish. And we can walk our, our, our fingers over towards one side, transferring the weight into that foot, pushing off with the other foot and lifting that foot up, either holding it to the side, or if you have room, you can bring it behind you. And then we step it back, walking the leg over, the arms over, bringing it up. Good, and again. Stepping, walking hands, pushing through the foot. And again. Walking the hands over, lifting up. Good, well done. All we're rolling up and down through the spine. One more each side if you're with me. Stepping over, walking hands, lifting in that lower core. And bringing it back down, back to our center. Rolling up through the spine, everybody together. Opening those arms, pivoting towards the front of our mat. Left leg is bent, right leg is long, nice high lunge. Good, well done. Really nice. Again, keeping those hips nice and square. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twisting towards that left leg, towards our front leg, opening up the arms, feeling that two-way pull. Good, and we can stay here or we can lift the right arm up, reversing, little twisty back bend. Good, bringing it back. Squaring off the shoulders, drawing our hands to heart center. Little baby steps in, finding our warrior three once more. Push the floor away, grounding down with that supporting leg. Back leg is strong and active, connection from top of the head down to the toes. Open up the arms, flying through the air. As we inhale, we're gathering everything into our center, bending both knees. Exhale, push the floor away, fly through the air. Inhale, gather everything in. Exhale, push away. Think of that nice, strong focus. Inhale. Exhale, push away. Inhale, last time. Exhale, push away. And then like a pendulum, knee to chest, standing tall. And release it down, fabulous, well done. Good, have a little pedal through the feet. Release it out, good. Have a quick drink of water if you would like one. 
Good. Take a moment. Okay, let's fill it. We've got a question here. Breath meant to be full and deep. Okay, yeah, so our breath, it's really unique. So in different yoga practices, there's different ways of doing our breath. In this is our vinyasa class. So we're really just thinking about moving at the same time, um, breathing at the same time as our movement. So for example, when we were doing the reverse into side angle, I was saying we're inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, lifting down. So it is quite a slow breath. We wanna be thinking about breathing with all of the body. Yeah, but also it's unique to you. So if you, if I'm slightly off sync with your breath, just listen to your body and your breath. Yeah, hope that answers it. But there's lots of different, lots of different techniques that you can do with your breath with different yoga practices. But for today, that's what we're focusing on. Okay, how are we feeling? Are we okay? Take a breath. We can come down to a kneel. We can come down to a kneel. We're gonna. Leave our dragonflies flying through the air. And it's time for us now to ground down and move on to our stick insects, bringing our focus to stick insects. So, stick insects have a brilliant way of sticking and unsticking to surfaces, no matter what that surface is. So it can be smooth, rough, slippy, sticky, whatever. They're really adaptable and easily move along each surface. And to help them do this, they have a small pad and claw at the base of each leg. And these pads leave a little um, tiny amount of honey-like liquid, which helps them to grip. And then to, to take their next step and sort of ungrip or unstick, they draw their leg in and take the next step. It's a really tiny movement, but it's a little tiny draw in and down. And the liquid that they use is only ever needed in the movement in the moment. So although when they it first goes down to the surface, it will cover. It's a little bit like when you wipe a shower screen, and as you as the water goes on, it covers, and then it kind of trickles into lots of little little pieces. So it's a similar sort of um, thing when they draw their leg away and step again. They also um, move with a sort of swing-like motion. So they had three legs grounded while the other three move. So we can see our lovely little chap here is making his way across. And so he's always got three legs grounded and the other three swing and go. Um, sort of like um, creating a, a tripod beneath them. Um, and their bodies are made up of three sections. So in a similar way to our spine being in sections, um, but they don't have quite so much mobility. We've got far more mobility in our spine. Um, and they, <laughs> stick insects have sort of um, three signature movements. Um, they, have, they have movement one being, I'm a stick. <laughs> so, they bring their legs in and they go all in line with their body and it's, I'm a stick, I'm not going anywhere, you can't see me. <laughs> and then the second one is, let's go. They are so quick, they move. When they wanna move, they really can shift it. Um, and they kind of lift the ends of their bodies as they go to kind of help them move that little bit quicker. And the, lastly, the third one is mimicking their environment around them and they are so good at camouflaging. They will stay, um, so one of the things is that they'll they'll mimic the movement of a leaf and they do this little dance where they'll ground down with their feet and they shift from side to side. Um, so lots, lots to think about there. So we've got the, 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 the movement of the spine where it's in the three sections. And so they, as they move, we saw in that video, they've got this tripod kind of um, swing-like movement with their legs and their bodies kind of ripple side to side as they go. So we're gonna have a little feeling about grounding down, finding that kind of swing motion. Obviously we don't have six legs, so we're a little bit more limited than they are. <laughs> um, but having that little swing motion and also finding that ripple in our spine. Okay, so if we're not already down, just coming down to um, child's pose for a second. 
just lengthen the arms forward, bring forehead down. And just settle into a few breaths here. Good. Then transfer the weight forward, tuck the toes, and we're going to come back into a little crouch. I'm just going to turn and face you. So we're going to come into a little bit of a crouch, but we're going to turn our feet out slightly. So it's sort of 45 degrees into a malasana, yogi squat. We can keep our hands down to the ground and have a little bit of a shift here. Just shifting side to side. Good. If you want to, you can bring your arms towards your thighs. Having a little shift here, opening up the hips. Good, really nice. Okay, so we've got our we've got our shift going, like we're on our leaf, shifting side to side. So stay in keeping with that one with me. We're at the back of our mat, shifting. I'm going to keep the shifting motion going, thinking transferring right to left, right to left. But we're going to walk forward with the hands coming into a plank. So we're going to walk, shifting side to side and then shifting back. Good. Shift. And we can kind of think as we go, drawing those hands in as we go. And back. Good, working our way forward and back. Nice, when we come forward, we're engaged in those centers, keeping strong in the glutes and the core. Good. And back. And then last one, coming forward with the hands and pushing up into our downward facing dog. Okay, take a breath. We're gonna now be thinking about those swinging, swinging legs. So as we inhale, we're gonna lift our right leg off, coming into a three-legged dog. You don't have to worry about throwing that leg high, we're just lifting it off slightly. We're then gonna bend in the knees, thread the leg underneath the left leg, pivoting on that back foot, lowering the hips, lifting the left hand off, pushing the right foot forward. Good, then we go back into that same shape, so reversing back. From there, right foot comes to the outer edge of the right hand, coming into a lizard shape, or a stick insect shape, it should really be called. Plant left hand down. The left foot is going to come through and push forward like we've just done. So left leg comes through, hips go down, push forward with the left foot. Good, then lift from the hips, lift the hips, push in the left hand, step back, find our lunge, push back, find our three-legged dog. Now there's a lot going on there, don't worry, take it in your own time, you can break it up. It's a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. <laughs> so we're going to thread the right leg underneath, drop the hips, push heel away. Good, then lift the hips, push back, lifting high. Shift weight forward, bring right foot out to edge of right hand. Left leg threads through and forward. And then lift the hips, pushing that left hand, step back. Step back, find three-legged dog. Well done, really nice. Come back into our downward facing dog. Take a moment with the knees down if we wish. Well done. And then pushing back into downward facing dog we're going to take that on the other side so left leg comes up on an inhale exhale thread it underneath push the heel forward drop the hips inhale push up lift with the hips push the leg away exhale shift forward plant the left foot out edge of left left hand Right leg comes through, hips go down, push the foot forwards. Well done. Lift the hips, step back. And then push the left leg back up into three-legged dog. Well done. We're going to do one more. 
Thread left leg through. Drop the hips, keep the centers engaged. Lift hips, push heel up to the sky. Transfer the weight forward, left foot outer edge of left hand. Right leg comes through, pushing through. Gears and stepping back. Left leg goes high and we're back. Downward facing dog, lower the knees. Sit back, find child's pose. Lovely, really nice. So it's slow and controlled that movement, but you could also try it a little bit quicker as well. Um, once you get to grip with where you're going with the legs and things, it's quite a fun one to do a little bit quicker. Um, but it's also really lovely to, to do controlled so you feel really nice and strong in the body. And we get that kind of swing-like motion with our arms and legs. Well done, really nice. Keep breathing. <laughs> Okay, when you're ready, rolling up, coming into the seated kneeling position. And we're gonna bring the left hand down towards the mat and we're gonna sweep up and over with the right hand. We're now thinking about getting into our backs, mobility into our back. So we're gonna sweep the right arm up and over, bringing the chest towards the sky. And then we round forward as we come over the legs, transferring to the other side, opening up the chest. And then rounding forward, sweeping with the arms, opening the chest. Good, rounding down. Opening up. Lovely stuff. So we can keep with these, keeping the hips down towards the heels. If you want to take it a little bit further, we can plant the left hand and lift the hips slightly. Lifting the hips and lowering as we sweep and round forward, pushing the pelvis up and round. Good, well done. Really nice. Good. One more each side. If we're lifting the hips, our glutes are engaged slightly. Back to the centre. Good, really nice. So we're going to come up to kneel now. And we have the option to either keep the toes untucked or we can tuck the toes. I would say if you're not used to practicing back bends, I would keep the toes tucked. So we're going to bring our hands to our lower back as if we're going to put our hands into our back jean pockets. We're going to draw our elbows together, pushing the chest forward, looking up towards the sky. So our chest is coming through our shoulder girdle, elbows are drawing together, and we're lifting up. Good. Nice, even breathing. And then straightening up. Good, well done. We can do the same again, exactly as is. Or if we want, we can take it a little step further and begin to bring one hand down to the heel and then the other hand down to the heel. It's quite an intense stretch, so please be careful. Then here, of engaging in the glutes pushing the pelvis forward. If we're coming out of it, we're bringing our hands towards the base of our neck, base of our neck, base of our back, drawing the chin to chest, nice and slowly coming up. So take it in your own time. Good, well done. And then when you're ready, coming back up, bring our hips back down to our heels, Keeping our hands in line with our body, rolling forward, bring the forehead down towards the mat. It's a nice rounded child's pose. Good. Another variation that you can do if you don't want to do, so this is called camel. If you don't want to do the full, if you don't want to do that one um, up kneeling high, we can bring our hands down behind us 
and open the chest that way as well. So that's a really nice variation, really nice if you're at your desk a lot and you want to open up those shoulders, it's a really lovely one to do. Good, keep rounding in the spine. Lovely. And then rolling all the way up, shifting the weight over to one side to swing the legs forward. And we're going to come into a little straddle. So a little triangular shape with the legs, flexing the toes back. Good. Bringing the left hand down to the mat, we're going to reach diagonally across with the right hand and we're going to allow the right glute to come off the floor as we come into a twist and we're going to imagine that we're trying to take something off a shelf, reaching over to one side. Gear drawing it back and reaching over to the other. Twisting and reaching, allowing the opposite hip to come off the floor. Enjoying a twist after that very intense back bend. Good, and again, reaching across. And back to reach the other way. And back to the centre. Well done. Okay, so it may feel enough staying nice and tall here, flexing those toes back. This may feel enough for us. If you want to take it a little bit further, we can walk our fingertips forward, folding down between the legs. Good. Take it as far as you want to go. Well done. We also want to try and think about keeping that chest nice and open when we're doing forward, when we're doing an active forward fold like this. So we don't want to be hunching in the shoulders and drawing the chin in. We want to think more about opening up. So when before we were talking about our dragonflies having their focus beyond, that's what we want to be thinking of. So our focus is going beyond our mat. We're opening that chest. Good, couple more breaths here. Good, and then walking your way all the way back up. Bringing the knees in nice and gently and just give your knees a little bit of a windscreen wipe from side to side. Good. Lovely. Bending in the knees, sitting high on the sit bones, bring the arms forward. We're going to lower down, rolling down the mat, engaging in our centres, imprinting our spine all the way down to the mat, nice and gently, as slowly as we can, starting from the tail bone, tucking it under, imprinting every little vertebra all the way down with control. Well done, slowly as you can, see if you can hold it. Good, brilliant, and release it down. Good, bending in the knees so that we can almost tickle our heels with our fingers, almost. Knees are in line with hips. Hands are planted down to the ground. So we've just done that lovely roll down, imprinting our spine down. We're now going to lift our spine back up again, starting from the tailbone, engaging, zipping up that lower core like we're zipping up a tight pair of jeans. Zipping up, rolling up, lifting the spine, lifting the pelvis, each little vertebra at a time, creating that nice long line from knees through the hips to the shoulders, keeping a little bit of space between the chin and the chest. Lovely. Glutes are slightly engaged. They're not squeezing for life. They're just engaged. They're just there, just supporting you. And then we roll all the way back down, imprinting, 
gently, 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 all the way back down. Good, and again, all the way up. Nice and controlled, well done. And again, all the way back down. Lovely stuff. Let's do one more. All the way up. And all the way down. Well done, really nice. And again, just windscreen wipe the knees from side to side. Bring the knees into the chest, giving them a hug. Good. And we can come into happy baby, taking hold of the outer edges of the feet or the shins or the thighs. And just have a little rock, massaging out the lower back. And then again, bring knees to chest. And we're gonna allow the knees to fall down to the left side, keeping the shoulders grounded, coming into a nice twist, opening our arms into a T shape or a cactus shape, breathing into the twist. Good. And then inhale through the center, exhale over to the other side. Good. Lovely. Drawing back to the centre, wrap your arms around, give yourself a nice big hug and a squeeze. And then release, allowing the legs and arms to lengthen down the mats. Close down the eyes. And just take a few settling breaths, allowing our body to find stillness. Allowing all that movement just to settle. Coming back to that breath from the beginning, visualizing each inhale and exhale. Reaching arms above the head, reaching from finger from finger from fingertips, fingertips, and then curling up onto one side so you're nice and comfy. And then pushing yourself up when you're ready into a seat position, bring the hands up towards heart center. Gently bow the head forward. Namaste. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so much for joining and that is the last session of our Imperial Lates this week. Um, so if you do want to give the session another go or you want to share it with friends or family, the recording of this event will appear on Imperial College London's YouTube channel and the URL that you used for this um, will be the same, so the same code to access both. Um, and then there's also going to be a link that's going to be posted through to the chat in a moment, um, which is a little evaluation form. It'd be wonderful if you could just take five minutes just to let us know what you thought and if you enjoyed it. Um, and although this is our last late before the summer break, um, there will be more public events for Imperial during that time and hopefully some in-person ones. Um, so you can keep up to date with all of those events from the college by signing up to the Imperial Events Bulletin. And um, that link should also be posted into the chat for you. 
Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've got any questions and I really, really love teaching you all today and learning about all these wonderful, wonderful insects today. Um, so yes, thank you so much. Take care, enjoy your afternoon and see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.